solving MCQ is the key uh, and if you're a dropper all you must be doing is invest your time in solving the MCQs find out the right MCQs to solve and invest your time fully and correctly to the entire term to that I have a six month plan do you want to follow that will you follow that it's going to make you sweat but trust me at the end of it you will achieve something which is incredible you will be able to solve more than 20,000 MCQs are you willing for the six month plan how you study is important and if you study through MCQs you have not only understood the concepts you have also solved MCQs now when you solve sufficient MCQs you have reached a position where you know for sure that you've solved mostly everything now what is the possibility that you meet an MCQ which you've never seen before now that is the trick to solve as many MCQs as possible from the right book from the most possible and from the most probable areas are you willing let's see the plan well so if you see I've created a sheet for you which I will share with you in the description over here each of the segment is a month so this is the first month the second month the third the fourth the fifth and the sixth month right and over here you get to see the detail analysis so this talks of in the first month how many MCQs in physics you are doing and in how many minutes so eight minutes may you are solving 40 MCQs in physics likewise in chemistry 30 MCQs and biology 20 MCQs uh, do you think this time is right for you in the very first month to solve physics art minute one MCQ in chemistry five minutes each MCQ and in biology four months four minutes each MCQ that's what you will do in the very first month right so which means if you follow this method you have invested nine hours every day for 30 days and you have ended up solving 2700 mcqs and here's the detail analysis now let's say second month and and if you think you don't have the dexterity to work for nine hours you could make this probably 30 mcqs and it becomes seven and a, or maybe 35 mcqs if you think your stamina is for eight and a half hours you know and accordingly you can change what you think is appropriate but i recommend 40 and so on the second month yeah the third month the fourth month the fifth the sixth month okay now if you follow the structure you will notice that in six months this is the mcq you're solving on a monthly base and this is what you're solving at the end if you follow this method you have ended up solving close to twenty four thousand and more mcqs at the end of it isn't that incredible if you are a dropper and if you're committed to clear it this time, then I think this is the best strategy. You are going to learn any which ways. I'm saying learn through MCQ. Take a particular topic today and solve 30 MCQs and learn that concept. This is a way and I think this is a good way to solve 24,000 and more MCQs in six months. Ho sakta hai aapko ghanta din ka ka nahi ho rahe. Theek hai na? Come karo. Reduce the MCQs but don't change the structure and the strategy it's a good structure i believe and and i've worked with droppers over the last few years and i think they've succeeded brilliantly this is a strategy to succeed invest time a in self-study b in solving the mcqs and in this way you can reach maximum if you read the description down the link is posted over there you can pick up the sheet for yourself all the very best and i really hope that you crack the examination this year in this attempt for sure Thank you.